Hello, I'm Brother Taylor. Today I'd like to talk to you about les adjectifs possessifs, which means possessive adjectives. Um, possessive adjectives are really quite easy because all you, once you learn the basic uh, way of saying my, your, his, her, whatever, all you have to do is figure out whether <laughs> the noun is masculine or feminine or plural. Plural is easy. The big thing is masculine or feminine. So these are the uh, possess possessive adjectives in French. I just like to. I just want to pronounce these for for you. Mon oncle, ma tante, mes amis. Notice there's kind of this liaison if there's a vowel here. Ton oncle, ta tante, tes amis. Son oncle, sa tante, ses amis. Notre oncle, notre tante, nos amis. Votre oncle, votre tante, vos amis. Leur oncle, leur tante, leurs amis. So, uh, mon, uh, mon mame is my, ton tate is your, son sasse is his or her, depends on the context. Notre, notre, no is our. Votre, votre, vos is your, which is usually formal or plural. And leur, leur, ton, leur, leur, et leur with an S is uh, there. Notice leur never has an E after it. So, even if it's feminine here, it doesn't have an E. Okay, um, quite easy. Um, one other thing I'd like to talk to you about. So, for example, if I want to say my book, you just say mon livre, right? Because it's, it's mon livre, not ma livre, because the book is masculine. So, what kind of book is it? My book. So, this is actually an adjective that describes book. What kind of aunt is this? My aunt. So, my table. Table is feminine, so it would be ma table. Or, my tables, it would be mes table. Notice there's no liaison here because this is a consonant. Mes table. Now, what do you do if you have something that starts with a vowel but is feminine? If it starts with a vowel and feminine, you have to still use the masculine singular form here. So, for example, um, assuming that the item is, is singular as well. So, for example, ton. Um, so, for example, ton. Um, what would be a good example? Ton avocat this is a great example. Notice this right here is. This means your female lawyer. Notice it starts with a vowel, and so you need to make that liaison here. So you have to use the masculine form, the ton, here. Okay. Notice you couldn't say ta avocat because there would be two vowels here. With this, this were right here, this avocat was here. So this is this is what you have to use. You have to use the masculine singular form if it's feminine singular and starts with a vowel. That's the only tricky part, really, with um, possessive adjectives. So that's something important to uh, to consider. So if I want to say their pen, it would be leur stylo. Your pen, your, votre stylo, our pen, notre stylo. His or her pen would be son stylo. So, for example, if I want to say his pen, it's son stylo. If it's her pen, it's still son stylo. Because stylo is what determines whether this is masculine or feminine, not the possessor. Okay. So this could be his or her uh, pen. If it's ambiguous, you can also say a elle, which means it's her pen to her, meaning her pen, it's hers. It's just uh, emphasizing that this is actually a feminine possessor. Or son stylo a lui, it means uh, his pen, if you want to emphasize that it's the possessor is um, masculine. Okay, so how, how would you say his sister? Okay, so it would be actually sa sœur, because sister, what kind of sister? His sister. So, no, because sister determines whether this is son or sa, not the possessor, like in English. In English, the person possessing something determines the form. But in French, it's the noun that determines it. So, sa sœur can mean his sister. So, sa sœur est très belle. So, for example, if you want to say his sister is beautiful, you'd say sa sœur est belle. So, who's beautiful? The sister. What kind of sister? It's his sister. So, notice, in French, it's the sister that determines these adjectives. Not, uh, and notice in English we say his, it's the possessor that determines 
that adjective, but in French it's the noun that determines the adjective. So this, this is kind of a little tricky. You have to kind of understand especially um, that son sassé can mean his or her, and it's the, and it's the um, noun that determines that. So it's really quite easy to determine because usually you've already mentioned the person and, you, and then you just say his sister is. Do you know Frederick, do you know, um, do you know Bill? His sister is beautiful, for example. So you, you generally know who, that this w would represent, whether it represents his or her based on the context. So it's not quite so bad. Okay, um, so how would you say her brother? Would it be sa, sa frère or son frère? It would actually be son frère, her brother, because brother determines uh, whether this, this adjective is masculine or feminine. So it's all about the nouns. Nouns are very important in French to know whether masculine or feminine because the adjectives modify these nouns. And it only gets a little tricky with his or her. Everything else is fairly, assuming there's no vowel, Assuming there's not a vowel, it's, it's pretty much uh, masculine, feminine, and then plural, of course. But especially if there is a vowel and it's feminine, singular, then you'll use masculine. And the son, ça, say thing can be a little bit tricky, so just kind of practice that a little bit. But everything else is pretty much, pretty straightforward if you understand the translations. So, thank you.